Hey, I hope you and your families are doing well. If you're a trader, you'll know the importance of pattern recognition. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just give you an observation of what many of the best breakout stocks have been doing over the past month or so. If you found this observation useful, absolutely fantastic. If you don't, that's absolutely fine as, as well. So we've got around about eight stocks to be going through. Common chart patterns you're gonna see are combinations of flags, VCPs, cup and handles, Darvis boxes, so on and so forth. We've got the daily chart on the left and then we've got the one hour chart on the right. So as you know, a lot of trading, certainly from kind of the tangible side of things, is looking for those repeatable patterns and repeatable characteristics within said pattern. So let's start off here with Gatos Silver. So you can see it's a flag type pattern slash VCP. You've got three contractions, one contraction, two contraction, and then your third and final contraction over here, where price is tightening on the 10 EMA. So for me, 10 EMA is at a minimum what I would like to see there for what I call a trigger bar. A trigger bar is extremely, extremely, extremely tight range bar preferably on low relative volume as well oftentimes it's an inside bar but then i take it a step further i want to look at the one hour chart and there's repeatable characteristics i'm looking for on the one hour chart and this is the observation if you find it useful great if you don't that's absolutely fine as uh, as well so when you drill down onto the one hour chart i like using the 10 ema which is the black line the blue line is the 21 EMA, and then the purple line here is the 50 SMA. So the placement of these is gonna be different different relative to the daily chart because it is on a different time frame. Albeit, I'm still using the same moving averages on the daily time frame, but the placement's different because of the time frame. What I want to see, and this is the observation, I'll take you through around about eight of these stocks. You can then make, make your own make your own decision, make your own conclusions. By the end of this, you can go and look at other, other stocks that you've seen breaking out um, recently as well. So if you take a look here on the one hour chart, what chart chart pattern do you see now these vertical dash lines break break down the individual session so you can see one contraction two contraction three contraction looks like a vcp doesn't it now here's the observation when you drill down onto the one hour chart and what i'm looking for is that trigger bar that very nice tight bar which for me is the final piece of the jigsaw of a flag a cup and handle a darvis box that that there is then getting my attention to go okay it looks like supply has really dried up now i may want to be targeting a setup because i think i can create an asymmetric risk versus world trade then i'm looking for specific things on the one hour chart here it is you see how you have a clustering a convergence if you like of the 10 21 and 50 sma see how tight they are see see how they are together they kind of clustered in and then price is just oscillating around them a little bit up a little bit down but generally speaking it's tight range candlesticks the volume is generally speaking below the 30 bar average as well this is what i'm looking for now if i just carry on going through again repetition will probably help here rather than just showing you one example so let's go into another stock this one here is o is o r i c so this is a high tight flag so the last one was a vcp this is a high tight flag but you can see here on the one hour chart you can see some nice VCP action, can't you? So here's contraction one, here's contraction two, here's contraction three. And then you see the convergence over here of the 10, 21 and 50 SMA. This is what I'm looking for. This convergence in price and then look how tight the candlestick was sitting there on the 10 he may on the daily chart that there is the final piece of the jigsaw for me. Let me show you Neon. So this one here, you had really good volume moving in here, really good volume moving in here. So you have a little bit of a combination term in terms of chart patterns. You have a bit of a cup and handle type pattern. You then have some Darvis box action because of the size of the move. You could be looking at it as a high type flag as well. But in any event, you get this really tight inside day on the daily chart, closing just above the 10 EMA. It's an inside bar. The prior day just touched the 21 EMA. So it's sitting there nicely around the 10, 21 EMA. So it, or trading, a lot of trading is about creating mental mental representations for yourself. So not, not so much if you're a fundamental trader, albeit there's repeatable characteristics you're looking for if you're a fundamental value investor, but certainly as a technical trader, there are those mental frameworks, those repeatable things that you are looking for. This is just an observation which then which then helps me. So I like to use multiple time frame analysis, drill down, I'm looking for specific things on specific time frames and you see here as well you have the 10 21 and 50 sma see how tight they are see how price is just oscillating around those levels and that marathon runner is nice and close to the starting line aka price is closing nice and close to the pivot point where i want to get in volume dries up in that session as well on the one hour chart and you can also then see it on the daily chart see how the volume is uh see how the volume is drying up there as well so just another recent stock that's got up over 100 percent these repeatable characteristics you want to study success you want to understand what are they doing here's one from a couple of days ago this is beyond spring 
So it's a flag type pattern. See how the stock makes a really powerful move here. Lots of bullish synchronicity links up for 400, 500%, something like that. And then see how it starts building this flag, getting nice and tight around the 10 EMA. And then you get this inside bar coming through, sitting there on the 10 EMA. Then when you go down to the one hour chart, you get this nice big shake out demand tail and then see how price just starts building little higher lows, clustering around prices, then clustering around a convergence of the 10, 21 and 50 SMA. It's all starting to look pretty similar, isn't it? And so if this observation helps you, great. If it doesn't, that's absolutely fine as well. This one here is from around about a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half ago. This is ZYXI. So you have this really nice base that builds in here, but a Darvis box action for how, bit, how, how sideways this goes on the 1021 EMA. Look how the volume's coming through on the earnings, 52 week highs on the RS line. That's a free tool on trading view. Just search my name, you'll find it. And then what do you notice here? 1021, 50 SMA. See how price is just clustering just above them. Really nice reference point. So again, you can use the moving averages in terms of the repeatable nature of things you're looking at and as reference points. Next one is G is GOTU. So some of the Chinese stocks have been showing strength. Now this one here is more of a move. See how it's powering off the bottom here and then it builds this flag type pattern. If I zoom out, you can then see it very clearly on the one hour chart. See how price is building this flag type pattern. Now this is kind of textbook in terms of when I like to see <coughs> that trigger bar on the daily time frame and I drill it down onto the one hour time frame. This is what I'm really looking for. See how tight the candlesticks are here on the uh, on the one hour chart. You have a nice shake out demand tail for the first one hour candlestick. Then it's just tight, 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 tight. Look how the volume is just low for the rest of the session versus the 30, 30 bar average as well. And then what do you notice about the 1021 and the 50 estimate? See how they're just clustering together prices there which is a really nice reference point for me to be looking for. Another Chinese stock, this is AT80. So you can see that from its IPO, you can see it starts building this flag type pattern in here and draw this flag badly. And then you can start to see how the stock is building higher lows. Then you have an inside bar that opens on the opens on the low of the day, pushes up, closing around the 10 EMA nice reference point. Look how the volume dries up. Look at the 52 week highs coming through. And then when you look at the one hour chart, look at this final session. Where do you notice prices in relation to the 10, 21 and 50 SMA? sat just on top of it and what, what do you notice in terms of the convergence of the 10 21 and 50 SMA? looking interesting isn't it cabba so this stock has gone on an absolute on an absolute tear so it powers up here you have the ceo you have some director <coughs> directors you have the chief financial officer um, buying shares in there and the ceo then buying a little bit more really good volume coming up hardly any distribution on this pullback on this pullback then you get this trigger bar pulling in to the tenny may so it's a quasi cup and handle slash high tight flag given the size of the move see how the volume's drying up there on the daily chart and then when you go down to the one hour chart see how you have a clustering of 10 21 and 50 sma nice nice reference point to be using decent observation to be i think inputting into your trading if you find it useful but again the bruce lee quote if you do not find it useful discard it if you find it useful use it right let me then show you one more so the cabba then goes on a really really good run in there and then over here as well it got really tight 10 21 50 estimate even here as well i would go back study the stock worth doing then another chinese stock so you can see it makes a decent move here off of the lows going from around $1.75 up to kind of $4 and then starts building higher lows flag and then this trigger bar coming through around the 10, 21 and 50 SMA. And then what do you notice when we start looking at this trigger bar, see how tight the how tight the day is there. Then it's you've got a convergence of the 10, 21 and 50 SMA and it's clustering just below those moving averages. I prefer it when it's kind of clustering on it instead of just below. But when it's this kind of behavior, it's still worthwhile stuff while it's still worthwhile watching. So on the daily chart, you're looking looking for the high type flags, the flags, the Darvis boxes, the VCPs, the cup and handles, all that good stuff. And then looking for the trigger bars as well. Would like to see a trigger bar at a minimum on the 10 EMA. But if it's a bigger base, it may have the 10 and 21 there. If it's an even bigger base, it may have the 50 SMA there. If it's a low pivot, it may have the 21 there or say the 50 there as well. It really depends on the setup. But then when I drill down onto the one hour chart, just an observation you're, you're, you're probably going to find is you'll see a clustering of the better breakouts of the 10, 21 and 50 SMA and then price consolidating around that on low relative volume. So hopefully that there is useful for you and you very much for watching if you made it this far and I'll see you in the next one.